like my amazing little artist. So we're going to review for a quick second because so far this year we have learned all about dots and how if dots go for a walk they create lines and those lines can be wavy, they can be bumpy, they can be zigzaggy. Now lines can do another really cool thing. When a line starts and stops back where it started, it creates a shape. So this shape is called a square. If I maybe started here and I went all the way around and walked to where I started, that is called a circle. So today we are going to learn from a famous artist named Picasso. Hello, everybody. We're going to learn all about different types of shapes and how artists use them to make pictures of other things. All right, let's watch. Picasso loves shapes. Hello, let's talk about shapes. There are many kinds of shapes. This is a circle. Here is a rectangle. That is a triangle. Hi, Picasso. Hola. This is a beautiful shape. It's muy bonita. Why, yes. I think so, too. You know what I need? More excitement. More something. No, a triangle is fine. In that case, hasta luego. See you later. This is a square. This shape is an oval. This shape. Oh, it's Picasso again. Lo siento, amigo. I am inspired. I must paint. It's a face. Now it is perfect. Very beautiful work, Picasso. Gracias. More shapes, por favor. Sure. Next, we have a trapezoid, a parallelogram, a pentagon, and an octagon. See, sí, these are very good, but it needs more. May I? Okay, Picasso. Go ahead. Thank you. Come, mis amigos. Let's make art. We can add lines and mix shapes. We can make new shapes too. We can put shapes together. Wow, everything is beautiful. This makes me very, very happy. Which shape is your favorite, Picasso? I will have to say all. I love all the shapes. Wonderful job, friends. Let's go make more arts. Adios. Bye, friends. So what do you think, Picasso? Do you think we should start learning how to draw some shapes? Yes, I believe we should. Get out your workbooks. All right, you heard him, kids. Get out your art workbooks and let's get started. Okay, so for this week, we have not one, but two worksheets that we are going to be doing. So right here, it says trace the shapes and color them in. So that is exactly what you do. You can pick what you want to use. You want to do markers. You want to do crayon. You want to do colored pencil. Okay, so I'm going to do one as an example. So to trace means to stay on the line. And then to color, I want to see good coloring skills. And what I mean by that is I want to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, this is what good coloring skills are. Okay, I want to stay inside the line and look how nice and neat it is. I'm not going this way. I'm not going this way. I'm not outside the lines. I'm going back and forth, filling my whole entire shape in. And that's what it should look like when you're done. 
Okay, so this is working on your coloring skills as well as learning how to draw different shapes. Then when you're done this page, we're going to do what can you draw with these shapes? Make a drawing in the box below. So Picasso was trying to show us that we can do drawings by combining shapes together. So what would I have if I drew a square with a triangle on top? What would I get? That's a house. Let's see, I need a door. That is a rectangle. How about a window upstairs? How about another window here? How about if I connected some triangles together? What does that make? A tree. Let's draw my yard. And in my yard over here, I have a circle with a couple of triangles. What do I have now? A little kitty cat. So artists use shapes to draw pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna continue my drawing and I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Here is my drawing and I use all different kinds of shapes. I have squares and rectangles and circles and triangles. Okay, what can you come up with? Maybe you could do a rocket ship in outer space. Maybe you could do a zoo with all different animals using shapes. There's so many things that you can come up with. All right, so you have two worksheet pages to do and then you are going to submit both papers to me through the Google Classroom assignment. Okay, I can't wait to see your artwork on shapes and I will see you next time. Bye.